Welcome back, guys, to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, where last episode, after Yuffie's attempted assassination of Rufus Shinra led to talks with the president breaking down, Cloud and some loyal troopers of the Seventh, wanting to assure their captain's safety, made their way toward the dock behind the others, fighting other divisions unsure of who the assassin in disguise could be. This led us into an encounter with the bike riding and wielding Rosh, and having just defeated our soldier foe, we now continue our Junon escape. New party member get UK guys. I'm not. <laughs> I'm a bit worse for wear. I can run over with a motorbike. It kept flipping on my face. <laughs> I bid you bon voyage, my friend. Bon voyage, Rosh. <laughs> Why do you give me a stamp, though? <laughs> Oh, money. Give me a phoenix down. Well, I can't use it on myself, can I now? Excuse me, guys. You're not going to like the in a second when I ditch you and leave you be behind. Oh, there's a lot of boxes in here. <laughs> there really is. Guess to the victor goes the spoils, right? A Moogle medal, too. It's just the everything room. Unable to obtain most of it, of course. Three armor piercing grenades. <laughs> That's a lot of stocks. Guys, I'm going to have to leave you guys here. You need to go to La Junon. It's fine. Go back to Midgar and celebrate your victory. I kind of promised not to be back, even though the deal that I kind of put in place kind of went a bit screwy. Sorry about that. We could have been not so friends. You guys had Lardboard without me. Sir, I have to ask. Oh, the jackass with the bike? He's... A jackass. That we know, sir. What I wanted to ask is, why you keep trying to shake us? Are we really that much of a burden to you? <sighs> or, are you the assassin everyone's looking for? <laughs> for what it's worth, I want you to know. I'm sorry. <laughs> no need to take the joke that far, Captain. We know the culprit's a young woman, just lightening the mood. But we get it. You clearly have things to do. Things you can't divulge to us. We're sorry that we didn't see it sooner, sir. Sorry, sir! It's okay. At ease. The fact is, we would have never won that commendation if you hadn't brought us all together. I might be out of line for saying this since we only just met, but... The Seventh feels more like a family than ever, and we hope you feel the same. You're not out of line. It's been an honor, Trooper. But you're right. It's time you guys went your way, and I went mine. Will we see each other again, sir? Count on it. <laughs> I'll find you guys at the bold bar. <laughs> I don't want to leave you. No! <laughs> Parting. <laughs> it's full of sorrow. All the salutes. I 
I find it weird to see that there were guys there just in their average uh, like holiday clothes just hanging out. It's not exactly a holiday location, but I guess ports generally aren't. And they take you the places, right? Sailing. That's a big ship. I'm just relieved the president is okay. Just trust in Shinra and things will be fine. <laughs> Why is it this Shinra? <laughs> Just thinking it's very true of corporations to do it up like that, if you know what I mean. Just trust in Shinra and things will be fine. Ah, oh, my goodness. Anything for a buck. Whoever was behind that attack yet? Even if they don't mean it. It's all about marketing. <sighs> you okay? Yeah. Great. Now then. Let's not keep our friends waiting. We better get in line. All right, next. They're screening passengers. What now? We try the back door. Uh, with dolphins. Dolphins. They, they jump you into ships. We figured this stuff out before. Yeah, I know I tried to go towards you, but I'm not allowed to, Mr. Roadman. Roadman, <laughs> where, where are you going? Uh, why? Hello. <laughs> Can we please set sail already? Can I help you? Yeah, we're, uh... We are the winners of the President's commendation. As a reward, we got a trip to Costa del Sol. The Commander-in-Chief said that we could hitch a ride on your ship. First time hearing of this. Well, the President's a busy man. Those guys with you too? <laughs> Where'd they come from? Captain, sorry but you're needed on deck. The fight's broken out. <sighs> Looks like we're in for another fun crossing. Got space in second class. Be sure to mind your P's and Q's, huh? A lot of bigwigs on board. As for you, back to work. Aye, <laughs> uh, sir. Oh, and your dog stays in the hold. Got it. Just play along. All clear! Pull her up! Those rope guys weren't with me, by the way. Are they in the same room? Oh, what a cutie! Oh, oh, look at his tail! Check it out! 
Actually, I was kind of hoping we could talk business. Uh, what kind of business? You know, business. Boys. Oh, that kind. <laughs> up top all the robes are in second class haven't seen any sign of Shinra though we can ditch the uniforms oh well it's been an honor captain captain hey about this deal Rufus wanted to make with you I know it's off thanks to little miss ninja's stunt but personally I think she did us a favor. Nothing good ever came from making deals with the devil. Shinra can't be trusted, no matter who's in charge. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Good evening, and welcome aboard the Shinra 8. We're sailing smoothly towards Costa del Sol, and expect to arrive right on schedule. Though your time with us may be brief, we wish you all a pleasant voyage. As for this evening's onboard entertainment, we will be holding a Queen's Blood tournament in the lounge. Any and all interested guests are welcome to join regardless of experience. See the lounge staff for details. You heard the man. To the lounge. <laughs> Come on. Blood? I'm not gonna fail miserably again, am I? Employees only behind this. Ah, oh, Barrett, come back! We have to do inspections to make sure everything's in order. You said to the wall. Okay, I'm guessing there's a phone there, right? All right, uh, let's start exploring this. Not really so much of a cruise ship. It's just kind of like a economy floor we're on. Repurposed place by the look of things. Come on! Open the friggin' door already! <laughs> haven't you ever heard of personal space? Look, this is mine! So cram! <laughs> I'm dying in here. Well, fell an assassination, get stuck with loads of real men in a room by the look of it. Even error for getting changed. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> Does everyone sleeps on hammocks in here? <laughs> yes. Yes, they do. Getting used to the holiday life. Antidotes just in case you're seasick? I don't know. I didn't realize that was you three till now. I guess, you know, it's not like... You could miss it. That guy reading Kektor, what's he reading?
Some people walk straight past dialogue there. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure you didn't, but still. Well, oh, fruit and veg. Gotta make sure we don't get any scurvy. Any more chests? Turned out pretty good in the end. <laughs> when the play fell poor, but then I got a vacation, so I forgot all about the mass death. That's humanity for you, though, to be fair. Like nothing else going on here in terms of chess. Oh, no, there is. Try the door. That is our destination. Does going up count for anything? Am I even allowed up? Oh, yes, I am. So the goal is on the luxury floor, so we may as well continue checking out that bottom bit. Yes, I did check this out already. <laughs> I don't know, it's just weird, weird place to have people coming into and all that. I bet I can kick their balls. To belong to Captain yeah. It's just a very weird ship. Thank you. Just taking a cargo liner, pretty much, and just said... Has he ever of it's a proper one now. All right, Cloud's got full health. The fact that we have healing places in here <laughs> kind of tells you a little. All right, let's check the luxury bit from over here because those stairs are probably all going to reach the same point. Are you ready for me to fail at Queen's Blood a lot? Oh, these are... Uh, the classes are... Well, different, aren't they? Sorry, sir. Only ship's crew allowed in here. It's not about I can't. I the breeze on the deck feels like through the comically big door. And we're not even allowed in anywhere here. So where do the stairs come up? Attention, passengers. The Queen's Blood Tournament will be starting shortly. This is your last chance to sign up. The winner of today's competition will take ashore a trophy as well as a fabulous prize. No cards of your own? No problem. Decks are available for rental, so come and join in the fun. So, you playing? I might. <laughs> then I might see you around. Sure. You're getting in on this too? Solely as a means to study human leisure activities. Now, if you'll excuse me. Sign up for the Queen's Blood Tournament. My apologies, sir. But I'm afraid animals are not allowed to participate. What? You should let Red participate. Like, really would be a great idea. That's it. I want to speak with your manager. Ah, Karen for a team. <laughs> or justified, I, I guess. Your animal, thank you. You're pretty good at this game, huh? I guess. <laughs> good enough to beat me, though? I guess we'll find out. Oh god, I have to face you guys? A little friendly competition could be fun. And who knows, one of us might win it all. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, you won't go far with that attitude, oh ye of zero faith. Ah, now's my chance. I'll be right back. I don't believe I'm going to win. I think it'd be dumb for me to believe I'm going to win this. <laughs> There's another bench here. What's this sell? Cards? No? 
How dare you, game. <laughs> Red won't stop. I obviously haven't got to sign up for there, but I can check out the sun deck too. Is this yoga or just general exercise? Sorry, 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 sorry. You don't have that level of coordinate. You, you're either feeling awkward or you don't have coordination, but you look like you've got a kind of six pack ish going on here. So I don't believe this a little bit. We you just hamming it up. I'm an amateur, honest. Then wait for the hard pose and be like, pretzel. Wait, I'm joining in. <laughs> what are we doing? Get away from here. Stat. All right, doesn't realize anyone down here. I need to not go near any exercise people. It's so humid out here. At least they've done some fair dressing up of a ship that wasn't obviously built for the purpose of what it's used for. Okay then. Alright, if you play, I'll be sure to cheer you on. I bet deep down you're a card shark, and you can smell blood in the water. I know me and this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna lose. Very badly. Thanks. You join in? Hell yeah I am. Fabulous prize, here I come. Cool. But maybe change first. <laughs> Out of this? Nah, no, I'm starting to dig it. Tell me I don't look good. <laughs> like I was born of the bride. Now's your chance. Let's do this. Sign in on that. There's a surefire way to become a Queen's Blood Master. To guarantee that you never, ever lose. Tell me. Like, for real? For real? Don't challenge opponents you know you can't beat. Okay. That no, that's not how that works. I guess I better sign up then. Here to sign up for our Queen's Blood tournament. So, who should I say is competing? Cloud Strife. Oh, you're Mr. Strife. As it happens, we received a message for you. Okay. Odd, I know, but if I may, it pleases me to see you continue your Queen's Blood journey, Mr. Strife. May a sanguine thirst consume you for many matches to come. Signed, a friendly specter. Goodness me. That's quite the letter, isn't it? An inside joke of some sort? Well, you're all set to join. Good luck, and have a great time today. Welcome to the Shinra 8's Queen's Blood Tournament. Only one of our card battlers will walk away with the trophy and the glory in today's competition. But who will it be? I, Titov, will be your host for this spectacular event as we seek to crown our next Queen's Blood Champion. Many passengers have chosen to participate in the Shinra 8's Queen's Blood Tournament, but only one will emerge as champion. Will it be you? Me. Select one opponent per round, then defeat them to advance. Even if you lose, you can choose to either rematch them or select a new opponent before reporting your results for that round. The winner will be decided after five rounds of play. So, uh... I guess I can't lose? Purchase cards from the attendant on the left and review the QB rules from the cards deck section of the main menu. Note that today's tournament will not affect your QB rank, but if you wish to quit at any time, speak with the attendant on the right. Every journey begins with a single step. So put your best foot forward and seek out your first competitor. It's literally an option to forfeit if you don't want to go through with it. 
Welcome. Let's see how today's brave cards, competitors are faring. We'll start with our first pair. I no pull the packs. Seen a small stature fool you. She's as tough as they come. Best of luck today. As for our second pair, you're holding your own against the enemy. Yeah. 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 Like Did I want to fight? Oh, someone's above me, right? Or, or below me. First one I find loses. You up there? Okay. I think Madame M's the one who'll need a massage. Oh, hey, dude. You my next opponent? Name's Felix. This is gonna be totally sick. Everything cool? You seem a little tense. Just remember, it's only a game. No, it isn't. <laughs> Just shut up and play. It isn't only a game. Okay, dude. If that's how you roll, it's all good. Ready, set, let's do this thing. It's scary, Felix. There's something that lurks behind these cards. Something that lurks. Right, what do I want? That Midgard Summer card we just got. That seemed pretty good. But it's kind of hard to place. So I want that in instead of maybe Ogre. I don't have much in the way of being able to sacrifice things unless I was to do it with a cap R wire. But I could add another cap R wire now that I think about it and try to play for that. Oh yeah, we want to delete you though. You did actually help. Yeah, let's add another one of these and then try to do what that other guy did. Which I'm guessing is what everyone does after they fight that guy. Wouldn't surprise me. I mean, I do want it in the hand at the start-ish. I'm ready when you are. So it's there to be used. Lower the power of allied and enemy kills and affected tiles by one. So, like, I could put it in the top here and defeat my own card if I put it there. Wait, so, uh, which do I lead with? Like, totally. And there's more where that came from. Okay, you got two of the camping wires already. Wait, is there supposed to be whispers in the background of the music now? Not sure about that. Like, really not. No holding back. Sorry, just like thinking. Decorum be damned, folks. Felix is taunting his opponent. Screw you, Felix. Gonna need to take this piece now, don't I? You're mine. Haven't I just for, kind of forgotten my own strategy here? He maintains a solid advantage. I can still pull this off. I mean, we're, we're totally fine. I can put that there to go across one once everything is good. Uh, I could wait for an attack card to take out that guy over there. I kill my own card, correct? Bring it. Cloud keeps the hits coming as he maintains a solid advantage. But I don't get the Midgard Swarm bonus unless it's out early. <laughs> it's kind of a thing about this, isn't it? I mean, I can kill that guy up top there. No holding back. And that'll change it to a free, won't it? No, I'm it won't! Winning. I'm wrong! You're not winning, I'm randomly killing my own cards. <laughs> Decorum be damned, folks. Felix is taunting his opponent. It's totally different from winning. I'm just... More or less dumbing is actually more what I'm doing. 
your mind. Yup, this game rocks. Try to play weirdly. I think that oh, okay. smile on Felix's face says it all. The guy can't move anymore. Bring it. He may be down, ladies and gentlemen, but Cloud is not out. Not looking good. Felix looks asleep at the wheel. Wait, is he actually sleeping? No holding back. Cloud's opponent had better watch out. He's hungry like a wolf for victory. That's the way. Come on, man. Can you <laughs> solid and ease up a little? No. He just looks asleep at the wheel. Wait, is he actually sleeping? I <laughs> refuse. I'm going across the board. Screw oh, you. isn't letting up the pressure one bit. I got this. No problem. You're mine. Felix looks asleep at the wheel. Wait, is he actually sleeping? Cloud's opponent had better watch out. Feel lost. He's hungry like the wolf. Guess I should have learned the rules first. Don't say that. He's moving up, but will he make it all the way to the top? Don't forget to report your results to tournament staff so we can make that last match official. I could play it.